is the Bible. What is the Bible about? Now first let me say that we know that the first part is the Torah. And we know that behind the Torah is the Mishnah. Behind the Mishnah is the Kabbalah. And we now know, thanks to such scholars uh, as Zechariah Sitchin, and, and uh, others, that the that Moses was the Pharaoh of Hatton, and the Hatton is the Ten of the Kabbalah, the Ten Sephirah, the Ten Spheres, the Ten Dimensions of our minds, the Ten Dimensions in the Tree of Life, which, which I've shown is the Tree of Meaning, that develops the meaning. It's very nature and development of meaning. So, you know, we must consider the last sight in the West. We must look at the Bible and what is it about. You know, we're told it's about Jesus, that Jesus is a unique incarnation, but from the Kabbalah, and from you know, the truth, we, we can see that the, the Nazarene, the pure one, is the Narayan, the incarnation of Vishnu. Abraham was a Brahman, Brahma, Brahman, the transpersonal self the shining self of the Upanishads, the teachings of the Vedas, from the Indus Valley, from the ancient civilization, the teaching of the ancient world, the Brahman, that mysterious being, you know, our true nature, the spirit. So look at the Bible, what is it about? So I can tell what the book is about, you look at the beginning and you look at the end. At the beginning, you see that man was created in the Garden of Eden. And then, he was thrown out. And there was angels put with a, a flaming sword to pr protect to preserve the way of the tree of life. The man was taken out of the Garden of Eden and stopped from consuming the Gantu, the tree of life, cannabis fever, marijuana. So how the Bible begins. The man taken out of the Garden of Eden, you know, you know, rounded up as slaves. And taken away from the marijuana and made to work the ground. That's what this is the curse at the beginning of the Bible, what Genesis is about. We were taken out of the Garden of Eden, which is the pure form, which I've tried to show in the tree of meaning videos, the development of our divine nature. We were taken out of that garden of Eden, out of our natural selves, to work as slaves, and the corporate, you know, religions like Christianity or all Islam, corporate religions, corporate thinking. And we should be cooperative and inclusive, not corporatist and separatist, you know, condemning the unbeliever, who the face of his sin in the world. If you're, not, if you're not a broken spirit with a corporate identity in the world, everyone can contribute to society and to humanity and to our community, not just the corporate ones and the job workers who are doing what they are told. They are the enemy of our community. They are, well, for example, like with the Christians, they say,
send money back. You know, where is it? The same with Jesus is the only incarnation. You know, where is this? The, the Narayana, the Holy One, the true King, the Christos, the Messiah, Rama, Krishna, Jesus. That's the Father. So you see the Bible, the beginning and the end. At the end, it says, there will be no more curse, and the tree of life will be growing everywhere. It will be growing in the midst of the street, and on either side of the river, yielding its fruit, you know, all year round. So what's happening to the marijuana? Going in the midst of the street, inside the houses, hydroponically, under the grow lights, giving it fruit all year round. And on either side of the river, being on both sides of the tracks, on either side of the tracks, being in all classes of society, it's just the central authority, the central corporate entity, is trying to enforce the marijuana laws which are, are, are unenforceable in any community and any prosecutions are malicious prosecutions and taking in any cannabis off the youth is theft and it's certainly not going to encourage them to believe in any lies about community police because you know smoking cannabis is a community is a whole community it's a collective experience you know we have a right to a spontaneous collective experience that's why people smoke marijuana at festivals. Marijuana is not antisocial. Marijuana is the holy tree of life. Ezekiel 34, verse 29, it says that his prohibition will come to an end, you know, and they, sh and they shall no longer bear the shame of the heathen anymore. Neither bear the shame of the heathen anymore. The heathen. The strength. So the Bible ends with marijuana growing everywhere. Now, how is this going to come about? How, is it, how can this be explained? Now, if we look at Daniel chapter 2, it tells us very clearly, very clearly, Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that troubled him, and Daniel told him what the dream was, and he said, Oh, thou, O great king, saw, you know, this statue with a head of gold, and thou art the head of gold, and thou art the king of Babylon. And the Babylon, you see, is the system of property right and slavery, you know, the individual, the, the separation, that the individual owns the property rights, and the, the individual, you know, is then put under pressure by the state, it steals the property from the individual through all sorts of stresses, you know, all sorts of false promises, you know, and all sorts of deception and confidence tricks. So the individual works, and you know, through a bad education system, there's not awakening you know, his sensitivity to his attention and the focus of his attention to the world he's building. You know, he is corporate, he's broken, he's not following his heart. There's plenty of work for everyone to do. You know, do the work that needs to be done. Do the work that needs to be done for your communities. For our communities. You know, when the system collapses. You know, the simple truth, isn't it? The system Babylon will be is going to collapse. So weep not Babylon with the whore of Babylon and Queen Elizabeth on the throne riding on the back of a great beast. It's all going to collapse. It's all going to collapse. She is the world's richest person, the world's largest landowner. 
You think that will last? You think all this belief and deep jubilee and things, the scripture is clear. Babylon will be no more. In Babylon, the marijuana prohibition to keep promising is that we're going to, you know, say, oh, you know, we legalize small amounts. You can go up a few plants so that you, you know what I mean? So you don't have to rely on the local deliveries, you know, local deals on real deliveries by the local gangs. Keep promising. Oh, Obama will legalize. Oh, Babylon, Babylon will not legalize us. You know, what, when it is legalized, they can't, le they can't legalize it in small amounts because then the whole sham that has been dangerous is gone. And then the whole monetary value is, is collapsed. That they make and the criminals make that encourages, that encourages the system. So this is how the Bible ends. Now, how is this going to collapse? Now, it says in Daniel that Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. The king of Babylon had the dream of the statue. And the statue was hit by a stone cut out without hand. Now, that is the silicon chip. For the silicon chip, silicon, the silica is a stone and it's etched out. And it's a stone cut out without hand that smites the image on the feet of iron and clay and shatters them to bits and it goes on to shatter the whole system. Now this stone cut out without hands is a silicon chip, literally. Just as the tree of life is literally marijuana, so the stone cut out without hands is literally the silicon chip. And the silicon chip, the stone cut out without hand, grows into a great mountain that fills the whole earth. That's what Daniel said. The stone cut out without hands grows into a great mountain that fills the whole earth. Well, this is what we've got. The silicon chip is great the internet, the world wide web that fills the whole earth. And it is that silicon chip that smites the image on the feet of the iron and clay, you know, the reinforced concrete, the iron, which is miry clay, that separates everybody into their concrete boxes. Read Daniel chapter 2. The stone becomes a great mountain. Now, in the days of these kings, shall the Almighty, uh, when this silicon chip smites the system, and destroys the basis of Babylon, which is, you know, the individual, the individual ego, you know, the work ethic, the working to lift yourself up by your bootstraps against, you know, rip off merchants and a corrupt system of extortionate professional things and delug delusional jobs worth, taking your money ripping you off, taking your birthright, sold down the river, generations after generations of slaves. That's why they tell you there's only one life, because they don't want you to know that you've got a right for the you know, compensation for what your ancestors have done, for the injustices of Babylon for 5,000 years, 5,000 years. So the stone cut out without hands destroys the system through automation. It creates mass unemployment. Automation. And it goes on to shatter all the other levels of society you know, that depend on knowledge because it's all accessible. It's all accessible. You just need better teachers. Need people to think for themselves. Cyberspace is divine space, there's only one space. All of the universes, they're all in our imaginations. All of the multiverses, 
the universe is alive with sentient beings. You know, consciousness is, you know, cosmic consciousness. You know, we're all divine incarnations. The world is a divine vessel, and all the beings, all the sentient beings, are gods and goddesses. And there's divine knowledge, there's intuitive knowledge through the tree of meaning, through the actual structure of mind, space, time, you know, quantum mechanics and relativity and gravity, the reality of the world around us. It can grow into, into a meaning that, that we can all communicate and understand. And see that Rastafari is the Narayan in this time, the Narayan. He is the Nazarene, the incarnation of Vishnu, the anointed, the Christos, the Mashaya, the true king, earth rightful ruler, who fulfills the prophecy of Daniel that the Almighty will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed. The, who fulfills the prophecy in Revelation, you know, for weep not, for behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah hath prevailed to open the book, to open this book, and reveal the literal truth, the literal truth that the stone cut out without hands is the lip and chip. The great mountain is the internet. The tree of life is marijuana. This is the truth. This is the unsealed truth. Jah Rastafari, Almighty God. <laughs>